Hi there, this is Renato Bocava with Odonet. And today I want to talk a little bit about setting up your uh, authentication in ArcGIS Online to be able to use premium content and premium services. So here what we have is a sample uh, directly from the uh, ArcGIS JavaScript API documentation that shows how to use the route task. So if you remember from the video that we, I had last week, the route task is part of the premium content that you get with ArcGIS Align developer subscription. So uh, the routing uh, takes up credits. So if you want to use routing, you need to be able to uh, tell the application what your authentication is. So let's just do this quick sample here and show what the routing looks like. So if I click on location A, and then click on a location B, which would be my uh, destination. It's going to go ahead and create a very, uh, you know, it's real simple uh, routing to get from point A to point B. Awesome, that's great, right? So if we look at the source code for this, the way this is being set up is you're going to use the URL, URL utils module to add a proxy rule that's going to say all requests I go to route.arcgis.com, I want you to send to my proxy. And I've got this proxy.php that I'm using here. So let's go ahead and discuss the proxy. Okay, so you can get the proxy from GitHub. It's on Esri's GitHub site, or the GitHub repository. It's called resource-proxy. And they have proxies for uh, .NET, Java, and PHP. So I'm using the PHP one, and you can look at uh, the details for each of these types of proxies in the folders if you want to get more detailed information on a particular one. Uh, the idea here, though, is that what you want to do is in your proxy, you want to give it the client ID and the client secret. You can also give the rate limit, the rate limit period, and, and anything under the route.arcgis.com uh, slash uh, URL, anything under that uh, particular uh, host will match all to be true. And you could be even more specific. So if you uh, if you had a specific URL for a uh, service and you only want to match that one URL, you can say match all is equal to false. And it's really just up to you how you want to handle it. In this case, match all is going to be fine. Um, I'd also suggest adding HTTPS as well. So you uh, copy this add again under it, but add an HTTPS one, uh, because you're most likely going to be accessing via HTTPS anyway, and not regular HTTP. It doesn't hurt to have both in there though, um, just in case. So the main thing here that you want to do is you want to look at adding a client ID and the client secret. And if you remember from the video last week, I said the client secret is like your password. Do not let anyone see that. That's why it's recommended to use the client secret inside of uh, the proxy that's not accessible and you can look at all the instructions on how to set the proxy here how to install it make sure that the uh, the proxy config is not accessible by anybody that, uh, viewing the website um, there's a blog post that talks about uh, setting up a proxy in IIS uh, you can go over this and uh, it'll give you some uh, nice details on how to actually set up the proxy Okay, so if we don't set up a proxy, uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. So if I comment this out, and let me turn on my uh, debugging here, just so it'll flush my uh, cache. Now if I want to go from point A to point B, Okay, so if I try and do it without the proxy setup, I'm gonna get a pop-up for login. And I don't have the proper CSS in here because I wasn't expecting to get the pop-up, so I didn't add the CSS here for this. But this pop-up here is going to want me to log in to my ArcGIS online account, uh, my developer subscription, and it'll go ahead and handle getting the token and then send you the token along with that route task so that it knows I'm validated so I can continue with my route. This is what's going to happen if you don't use the proxy. 
Now, you could do something else. You could uh, authenticate your application via OAuth. So let's go ahead and set that up. So to set up the authentication via OAuth, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Identity Manager. And I'm also going to bring in um, uh, OAuth info module. Let's see here. Oops, and I forgot this is under the identity folder now in 4.0. And I think it's called uh, OAuth info, capital I, like that. All right, so the Identity Manager itself is a static module. You, you would never new it up. Um, the OAuth info is actually uh, something that we're going to new up in here. So what I want to do is create a new OAuth info. So var info for new OAuth info. And I'm going to pass some property along to that OAuth info. Okay, so what I need to pass to the auth info is going to be an app ID. All right. Now, if you remember from last week, uh, we created an application in ArcGIS Online in our content, and that application had a client ID and a client secret. The app ID is the same as a client ID, so that's where you would get it from. So I'm going to go back to my content, and I'm going to look for uh, my application, which leave this in here somewhere. Um, I've got one here. So I'll go ahead and use this. And I'm going to go to settings and go to uh, registered info and grab my app ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly create an uh, application here. Just show you the steps of how you would do it inside of the My Content page in ArcGIS Online. So we're going to go to Add Item and Add Item uh, app, an Application. And you're going to have some options here when you create an application. You want a web mapping application, mobile desktop, or just a plain application. We're going to pick plain application here. And we're going to give it a title. I'm just going to give this one a test app because I'm not going to build it. Uh, not really, I'll delete this after. I'm not going to use it. And call it test. And click on add item. And once you do that, it's going to go ahead and generate the little page for you here. You can go to settings, and like we've uh, done before, uh, you go to um, registered info. And it's going to give you your app ID. You click on show secret, and it'll give you your application secret. And that's quickly how you can create a application to use uh, OAuth authentication for your apps. Use that here. And I'm also going to set the pop-up equal to false. And what this is going to do is that it's going to uh, first redirect me to um, the ArcGIS Online's uh, OAuth authentication page. And when I log in, it'll redirect me back to this page. Okay, so I still need to uh, do one more thing. All right, I need to register that OAuth info with the Identity Manager. So at this point, I'm gonna do Identity Manager dot register. Uh, is it capital O, I believe? So, info and then I'm going to pass in uh, an array of info. So you can have um, multiples in here if you wanted to. So now if I were to refresh the application, uh, okay so it's not register or info, 
in foes. Oh, I'm sorry. Register auth in foes. There we go. Okay. So at this point, uh, I'm not asked to log in yet because I haven't tried to access anything secure. If I try and put my uh, uh, my starting location here and my destination location over here, and I try and access an authenticated resource, I'm redirected back to the ArcGIS Line authentication page. Now I can at this point approve it, but it's just going to redirect me back to my app. But I will have lost um, my route, right? So it doesn't make any sense for me to um, do that. You know, at the time I'm trying to access something, access a secure resource at runtime, I really should try and uh, log in when I first uh, go ahead and uh, start the application. So let's set that up. Okay, so what I want to do here, um, there's a couple ways you can do this. There, there's a method called sign up, sign in on the identity manager. And when you sign in, it's going to go ahead and, and validate that you're signed in. If you're not, it'll return an error. Then when you're not signed in, you can go ahead and use another method called get credential. And there is a uh, demo on the uh, ArcGIS Online site here that does just that. So if we look at this code here for the sample, uh, what it actually does is it checks the sign-in status, and if you're signed in, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue with the application. Otherwise, we're we're not. We're just going to go ahead and display some uh, uh, panels in here, all right? And you can do this pretty simply. Um, that's one way to check that you're signed in. So check sign-in status for the portal. Uh, otherwise, you have an anonymous view. And if you do sign in, it's going to call a method called get credential on the identity manager. So we're just going to go ahead and use this one here. So this is a good way to do it. So let's grab this here. So info.portalurl slash sharing. All right, so let's come over here. So let's do uh, so where we have everything there and there. So how about, where should I put this? I'm trying to think here. Let's do it uh, before I do anything else. Before I create my map or my view. So let's do identity credential. And to get credential, you have to pass it the, uh, the portal that you want to get credentials for. So that would be uh, the portal URL on our OAuth info that we created earlier. And by default, the portal URL is gonna be arcgis.com. If you are working with an um, uh, on-premise portal, you could change the portal URL property when you create the OAuth info uh, up here. All right, so we're gonna do it like that. And then we'll just wait for this promise to return. And I don't really care about actually having the credential at that point. I just simply want to grab the credential and uh, force a login. So if I can do a proper selection here, like a normal person. All right, let's just come up here. And okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and allow ourselves to set up the uh, route parameters and the graphics layer and the symbology and stuff. But before I actually create the map, I want to log into my portal, um, which is just going to be my ArcGIS Online portal. So if I go and refresh this application now, I should get redirected to the ArcGIS Online login page. Here we go. And it's saying that it wants me to approve uh, access uh, to my ArcGIS Online account for this application. Basically saying that what this is telling you here is that any um, task or premium content that the, ac the uh, application uses are going to use your credits. So that's what's gonna happen here. So just make sure that you're aware of that when you uh, get this login for any application that it's using your credits now to be able to go ahead and um, 
get access to stuff. So I'll prove it. Not a big deal. And then I'm redirected back to my app at this point. So now I can click on a uh, starting location and let's click on a destination location. And there's my route. No more pop-ups, no more logins. And this is now, uh, the credentials are stored for my session. So if I refresh the browser at this point, um, I should not get redirected. So I should automatically have my credential saved. So the get credential method pulls it from the cookie or the session. And I can go ahead and do my start location and then uh, ending location. And there we go, all set. So that is how you would go about setting up your authentication in ArcGIS Align and uh, using that authentication inside your application. And as the sample shows here, if you want to um, you know, be a little bit more specific, have a little bit more fine-tuned control over the, the login and allow people to log out as well, uh, follow this sample on the uh, JavaScript uh, API's uh, sample site. It has a, a checks assign in status and then does a sign in, otherwise has an anonymous uh, view. And there's a way people could sign in that's gonna go ahead and do the get credentials that we're doing. And there's also uh, the ability of people to sign out that you click on destroy credentials and it reloads the page and it's like starting with a fresh app again. So that's how you would just uh, log out is just by uh, identity manager dot destroy credentials. And that's it. If uh, you have any questions, let me know and happy authenticating.